Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a static mesh into a skeletal mesh um, for use in the survival game kit clothing system. Now, two things before we start this video. Um, I'm going to be using 3ds Max, which is a 3D modeling program. Um, if you don't have 3ds Max or you use a different program, you're going to need to try and find a video that shows this process for those programs. Um, I only use 3ds Max, so I only know how to do it in there. Um, and the second thing is, I'm going to be doing a hat today, um, which is a pretty basic example of how to do this. If you're trying to do this with um, things like t-shirts or trousers, basically anything that has to um, change shape as the character animates, you're going to need to look up some more advanced videos on uh, rigging, um, or sometimes it's called weight painting or skinning. Um, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna need to sort of dive into that separately from this video. This is just to give you a basic example of how to do this process. Um, so I've got my uh, cap stack mesh, and um, I'm going to start by exporting this. So I'm going to right click here, asset actions, and then export. And I'm just going to export mine to the desktop. And we're also going to go to the character folder, then mesh. And we're going to uh, right click our um, mannequin here, go to asset actions and export. And I'm just going to export mine to my desktop as well. So once we've done that, we can open up 3ds Max. So I'm just going to do that quickly. Okay, so now I'm in 3ds Max. I'm going to first import our, um, our, our character mannequin. So I'm going to quickly try and find that because. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to import that. Um, just hit OK. And I'm just going to bring up this viewport. And once we've got that in, we're next we're going to import our hat. So I'm going to try and find that. It is cap. And open that as well. So we've got both our uh, character and our hat in the um, in 3ds Max now. So first, um, I'm going to position my hat where I want it to be on my character when he wears it. So I'm just going to do this very quickly, but you can spend a lot more time sort of getting this precise. Um, you can, if you want, you can rotate it, you can scale it as well. Um, that's completely up to you. That's all fine. Um, so I think this looks this looks fine. So once we've done that, we're going to um, click on the modifier list and we're going to search for skin. And you can see it highlighted it there. I'm going to select that. Then I'm going to go to the um, bones and hit the add button. And I'm just going to do control A to highlight everything. I'm going to click this drop down here to hide the skeleton. And I'm going to hold control and alt and click the SK mannequin. And um, holding control and alt again, I'm going to click SK mannequin down here as well. Then we're going to hit select. So all that's done is um, added all the bones to our um, hat so uh, we can start rigging it to a specific bone. So the first thing we're going to do is hit edit envelopes and I'm going to select the um, head bone. But if you're say doing a backpack you might want to select the um, spine bone here or um, if you're doing shoes or something like that you can go down here and select the feet bones. You can see these sort of small uh, grey lines, they're the bones. So I'm just going to select the head one, and uh, once we've done that, we're going to um, go over here and select the vertices, and with that selected, we can highlight our mesh, and that's going to select all the vertices. Now you're going to need to make sure that all of the vertices on your mesh are selected. If they're not, you're going to get the the mesh is going to stretch and do weird things um, in the engine. Um, by default, this is actually already set our vertices to the head, but if yours doesn't, I'll quickly show you how to. You can go down to here with the weight, uh, weight paint tool, and uh, that will bring this up. And just with the head bone selected, we can select one. And that basically means that the vertices uh, are always going to stay this distance from the head bone. Um, so it's all ga always going to follow along uh, with what the head bone does. Um, now, as I said earlier, with more complicated things like t-shirts or trousers, different parts of the model have to follow different uh, bones and have to have different weights for the each bone, so it becomes quite complicated. Um, so again, you'll need to look up a video that goes through in detail how to 
how to set something like that up. Um, but for now, we're we're done with our hat, so we can uh, click the um, button here to go back into the normal mode. And next, we're going to um, select this SK mannequin and hit delete. And then we're going to select the SK mannequin here as well and hit delete. And now we can do Control A, go to the drop down, and we're going to export it. Um, I'm just going to export mine to this uh, folder. I'll call it cat um, underscore I one. And uh, I'm just going to make sure that smoothing groups is ticked. Um, everything else should be fine so we can hit OK and we're going to go back to um, Unreal and um, once we're in here we can um, import our new mesh so for me I put that in my documents in uh, 3ds Max export oh no uh, export and we can import that in now once we get to the screen we're going to select the skeleton and that's going to be our UE4 mannequin skeleton and uh, make sure that these are both ticked and we can hit import and you can see we've now got a skeletal mesh that's our cap it's imported a physics asset as well for us um, but now we can just go over to our item list um, I'm just going to use the existing um, cardboard um, helmet item so with that selected I'm just going to scroll down change our skeletal mesh to the cap select that and now when I jump into the level I should be able to equip that and you can see we've got our uh, cap on and it follows around with our head if we crouch um, and it all looks good so that's pretty much the process um, if you have any problems where like the mesh is say stretching about really strangely or it's like um, deforming um, that's probably because you haven't when you've selected the vertices you haven't selected them all or you haven't um, set the the weights on the vertices to one for um, your bone um, so like I did with the head bone so that's a few things in case you have some problems but that's pretty much it guys um, thank you for watching and hopefully you found this helpful um, don't forget to join our discord which I'll link in the description and thank you for watching